The topic of direct and inverse variation is one that doesn't come up too often on the SAT. You'll be lucky, well, unlucky, I guess, if you see even one of these on uh, a particular SAT. But it's still something that trips people up, and I think just because it's something that doesn't come up that often, and it's not to you know emphasized that much in math classes, and it's the topic of, like I said, direct and inverse variation. So what is this? Well, let's look at each one of these uh, uh, separately, and basically this is a topic about how numbers or quantities vary with each other. In the case of direct variation, you maybe you'll see it. It'll say something like you know directly proportional or um, related directly or something like that. This is the kind of language you hear direct is the key. What is this? Well, you can probably tell by this word. It's actually a proportion. This is something you already know how to do. A proportion is something that relates directly. And actually, this goes back to ratios as well. Ratios is simply just a direct proportionality. Um, so whenever you see directly proportional or related directly, what you can do is just use this formula. x1 over y1 equals x2 over y2. And again, this is what you kind of see when you're doing normal ratios, right? Let's say it's like eggs to butter, eggs to milk or something, right, in this recipe. Well, actually, let me come up with another actual example. Um, let's say the number of dollars that um, you Let's see. Let's say the number of dollars that you save is proportional, directly proportional, or relates, varies directly, or, or that's not be another one right here, varies directly, varies directly with the number of coupons you use. So number of dollars saved varies directly to number of coupons used. Let's say, let's say if you save 10, if you use 10 coupons and you save $30, how many coupons do you have to use to save $60? Well, this is just a proportion, right? All I've done is I've said, okay, x1 is 10 coupons, it's y1 is 30, x2, which is what I'm looking for, is 60, and I need to solve for that x2. And what do you do? Well, like you, what you do for any proportion, you just cross multiply. 600 equals 30x, x equals 20. And that would be your answer for this one. And that's all there is to uh, directly proportional, or, in, or varying directly. Now, you also might see, this concept as y equals kx, where in this case k is a constant. Um, this is a little confusing. I don't think this really helps because, I mean, it does, but you've got to solve for k. Basically, it's just easier to use this than to go the y equals kx route. And if you're at all relate, um, familiar with physics, you'll probably recognize this. But anyway, moving on to inversely proportional, or that's probably not a good way to say it. inversely related or inverse variation, they will say in the problem something like, these two quantities vary inversely in an inverse manner or are inversely proportional. Um, what does that mean? Well, it's not going to be exact proportion, so you're not going to use x1, you know, you're know, you not going to use this equation like you did above, but you're going to use something similar to it. Instead of dividing, you actually just multiply them like this, whoops, x2, y2. And this is what you use if they're inversely proportional. So let's say there's a problem that they tell you. Um, if x is 7 when y is 20, what is y when x is 14? Now, let's say before, earlier in the problem, I told you that these quantities vary inversely. Well, what we do is let's just plug them into our equation. Here's x1 right here, right? Here's our y1 right here. And then here is our y t x2 right here. So let's just go ahead and plug those in. So we're going to get 7 times 20 equals 14 times y. 140 equals 14y, y equals 10. And that would be your answer for this problem. So basically, that's all there is to it. Uh, again, this doesn't come up that often. But if you at least memorize these equations, this one right here, and then also this one right here, uh, you'll be ready to hit those problems if they do show up.